So let us solve some Hess law problems. For the first problem, it says given the following equations and the standard enthalpy change values, determine the heat of reaction at 298 Kelvin for the reaction. You have carbon reacts with two moles of hydrogen gas yields um, methane gas. So we have the following data. We have the uh, combination reaction for carbon dioxide as well as for water. And then we have the reaction of carbon dioxide with water yields uh, methane and oxygen. And we have uh, the heat of reaction for all of the step reactions. So first is uh, we identify and inspect the overall reaction. Because this is where we will be looking for the overall um, delta H or uh, overall heat of reaction. For this equation so as you can see we have a uh, carbon and hydrogen in the reactant side so we can see carbon and hydrogen in the reactant sides for reaction one and two and then for methane we can see methane at the product side of the third reaction so um, at this point we don't uh, feel the need of n uh, of reversing any of the equations so what we're going to do is to make sure that the other compounds and um, other substances or other elements would be cancelled out when we add them, um, when we add all of these uh, step reactions or these uh, three reactions. So as long as you have the right number of moles on the reactant side and you have the same number of moles of the same substance on the product side, they will cancel out. Okay. But don't forget, if you multiply, um, if you multiply any integer on any of the reactions, you will also multiply the same integer on the, um, on the heat of reaction values here in kilojoules. So let's take a look at the overall reaction. You have carbon in only one mole, so that's the clue that you will not be multiplying anything on the first reaction. On the second reaction, we have seen here um, hydrogen with two moles. So that gives us an idea that we will be multiplying the second equation by two. Right? So let's uh, we'll be multiplying this by two. Just use a different color of N. Multiply by two. So your second reaction would be um, H2, 2H2 or two moles of hydrogen gas reacts with uh, two times one half is just two over two or one with one mole of oxygen gas then yields two moles of water. And then we have the, um, uh, we have the heat of reaction for this um, equation multiplied by 2 as well. So, negative uh, 285.8 times 2 is negative 571.6 kilojoules. Alright, let's just copy the first reaction so we can work on it later easily. Oxygen. So, you don't have to write one because it's automatically one if you don't put um, a coefficient on it and then you have carbon dioxide then it's um, heat of reaction or change in enthalpy negative 393.5 kilojoules and then for the third equation as you can see it's only just one mole of methane in the overall reaction so what we're what uh that gives us a hint that we will not be multiplying any so we'll just copy it carbon dioxide plus two moles of water yields uh methane gas plus two moles of oxygen let's just put a subscript uh, just to indicate which 
reaction number. So for the third reaction, we'll just copy it. Positive 890.3. Okay, so we will just add up everything. Add up all the three uh, reactions or three steps of the reaction. And then um, we will just cancel out same compounds on the reactants and the product sides with the same coefficients. All right. So oxygen will be cancelled out because you'll have two, uh, one mole of oxygen here on the first reaction and one mole of oxygen here on the second reaction. So that will, will totals up to two moles. And then you have two moles of reaction of oxygen in the product side on the third reaction. So that will cancel out. Then you have two moles of water in the product side of the second reaction and two moles of water in the reactant side on the third reaction and that will just cancel out okay so what we are left is oh we also have carbon dioxide uh, both one mole um one mole on the product side of the first reaction and one mole on the reactant side of the third reaction when you when you sum this up all right when you sum this uh three reactions up what you will have is something similar to the overall reaction yield ch4 gas and then to get the overall is we will just add everything up um to get the overall we'll just add we'll just add up the first um uh, the heat of reactions are all the steps, okay? Because Heslo states that um, no matter how many steps um, you take to get the um, uh, to get the overall reaction, you will end up with the same uh, heat of reaction for that equation. So uh, delta H one plus delta H two plus delta H three. You will end up with the answer negative 74.8 and the unit is in kilojoules. Okay? So that is our answer for number one. Let's start with the second problem. It's, it reads, calculate the heat of combustion in kilojoules of propane, C3H8, using the listed standard enthalpy of reaction data. Propane um, reacts with 5 moles of oxygen, yields 3 moles of uh, carbon dioxide, and um, 4 moles of water vapor. So you have the listed information about the standard enthalpy of the reaction for the three steps that would lead us to the overall reaction so first we inspect what are the um what are the coefficients um and uh, the placement on the overall reactions in terms of uh, the substances in the listed standard um reactions so as you can see we have a uh, propane in the reactant side but on the first reaction uh, propane is on the product side so that tells us that we will be reversing the first reaction so we can uh, so when we add all this reaction up we'll have propane on the reactant side so let's just write that down c3h8 gas yields three moles of carbon plus four moles of hydrogen gas so, um, the enthalpy uh, of the reaction on the first uh, equation would also be um, flip or the, the sign for the standard enthalpy of the reaction would change. So, since it's negative 103, it will change to positive 103.8 kilojoules. Right? And uh, since propane is just one mole in the overall reaction, no need to multiply any integer. 
Let's go to the next um, equations. Uh, as you can see, on the second reaction, we have oxygen on the reactant side, which is the same on the overall reaction, as well as the carbon dioxide. They are both on the product side of the second reaction and the overall reaction. So nothing to flip there or nothing to reverse on uh, in terms of the equation. But we will just write it down. Carbon reacts with oxygen gas yields carbon dioxide. Right? Let's write the enthalpy of reaction later. Let's write down... Uh, let's take a look at the third reaction. It says there that water vapor is on the product side, which is the same as the uh, which is the same as the overall reaction. It has water vapor on the product side, so we will just copy it. Then we have half mole of oxygen gas uh, yields water vapor. Okay, this time we would like to cancel out. Um, substances or elements that are not found in the overall reaction. So you can see, we don't have carbon, we don't have hydrogen in the overall reaction. So that should cancel out. But uh, before they cancel out, they should have the same number of moles on the reactant and the product side. So on the product side for carbon, it has three moles. But on the reactant side of all the three um, equations, specifically on the second equation, it only has one so that will lead us to multiply that to three so that would uh, so carbon would cancel out so just uh, multiply all the coefficients by three together with the uh, enthalpy of the reaction for the second one so that will be negative uh, 393.5 kilojoules multiplied by three we get negative 1100 1, 80.5 kilojoules then that cancels out um hydrogen has four moles on the first reaction so definitely the third reaction should be multiplied by four and uh four uh times one half would be two so let's just remove the fraction put two and this would be multiplied by four same as the uh enthalpy of the reaction for three would be multiplied by 4. So we have negative 241.8 kilojoules multiplied by 4. So that's a total of negative 967.2 kilojoules. So H2 or hydrogen cancels out. And then we can add this to oxygen um, into the overall reaction. And then we will get propane plus 3 plus 2, that's 5 moles of oxygen in the reactant side, yields 3 moles of carbon dioxide and 4 moles of water vapor. Water, water vapor. So that is already similar to our overall reaction. So to get the um, enthalpy of the reaction for the overall, we just add the first, second, and third standard enthalpy of uh, the reaction okay so that's uh positive 103.8 my um plus negative 1180.5 plus negative 9967.2 kilojoules so that will give us a total of negative 2043.9 kilojoules and that will be our final answer If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you!